Well, hi there, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Uh, coming off of a very nice Sunday after a not-so-pleasant Saturday, uh, it was a far cry yesterday. We saw some much nicer weather, a lot of sunshine after a chilly start. Got up into the upper 60s and lower 70s, and it was a gorgeous afternoon. We're going to keep those temperatures kind of similar again today. In fact, much of the week ahead temps won't be too bad not too hot not too cold out there which we'll get into in just a bit now we do have a couple of scattered showers across the uh, far south and the southeast this morning those will exit out of the area and we'll see a break uh, from the clouds and then more clouds will approach later this afternoon as a cold front a very weak cool front makes its way through so clouds will increase and then we'll also see some chances of scattered showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon and into this evening severe weather is a possibility as well especially the farther southeast that you go so we'll also talk about that here in a bit. Now later in the night, after about 10, 11 o'clock, the chances of rain really drop off, only a small chance later in the night. Let's get into tomorrow, a cooler day, probably the coolest day of the week, in fact. Uh, breezy winds, or at least they'll become breezy by the afternoon out of the north and northwest, and we could see several pop-up showers around the area by the afternoon as well. Now you'll notice that the uh, they become a little more scattered in eastern Nebraska, a little more isolated in the western part of the state. So all areas have a chance, but the farther east you go, the better your chance. Maybe a few flashes, lightning rumbles of thunder, but not a ton of instability. So I'm expecting mostly just sprinkles or quick little showers that'll pass through. So it's kind of those showers that'll pass through, they'll, then you'll dry out, and then you may get another quick hit. Or you can see those rain, uh, those, those rain curtains off in the distance kind of passing by the area. That's what we're looking at for tomorrow. Once we hit, lose the heating of the day tomorrow late in the evening or into the evening hours, we'll start to lose those chances of rain, and that'll take us into a couple of dry days for Wednesday and Thursday. Here's a risk of severe weather for today from the Storm Prediction Center from about Kearney to Norfolk, south and eastward. We're looking at a moderate, marginal risk of severe storms. So not expecting a lot of severe weather, but there is a chance, mostly hail and wind being the main threat on an isolated basis, but... There is the possibility of at least a weak tornado, more of the type of a tornado like a landspout tornado. That's similar to what we saw this last week over in the Exeter area. Um, maybe a gust nato, which you kind of get those on those gust fronts of those storms, you may get a good spin up because there is actually a little bit of a, a spin in the atmosphere. So you may get a little bit of rotation out there. I'm not expecting any kind of strong tornado activity. These would be weaker tornadoes if we even saw it. Again, that's late this afternoon and into the early evening hours. As for your temperatures for today, most places within a few degrees of 70, but it will be a little cooler towards the Ainsworth area. Chance of thunderstorms, pretty much all areas. A little breezier out west this afternoon compared to most locations. But again, upper 60s and lower 70s for most. Not a huge swing in temperatures across much of the area. So pretty pleasant later on this afternoon. Next seven days, again, cooler tomorrow. That's chance of a few of those pulse or showers out there and then dry conditions for Wednesday and most of the day on Thursday. Now we start to warm it up a little bit Wednesday, warmer yet for Thursday and Friday. In fact, that's pretty close to our average high this time of the year in the mid 70s. Uh, again, a couple of nighttime chances of showers and thunderstorms are Thursday night and again Friday night. And then uh, some chances over the weekend that are very tough to predict at this time on the timing of those showers and thunderstorms. I know a lot of you do have plans for Memorial Day weekend, but I'll tell you right now, there's a chance just how great of a chance that's kind of the big question right now but we'll be around 70 degrees which again that makes for a pretty pleasant afternoon maybe not the summer like heat some would like to see but at the same time it's not going to be overly chilly either so pretty mild conditions over the weekend uh looking down the road maybe starting to heat things up towards the very end of the month later on next week but for now, no major warm-ups, no significant cool-downs. I'm not expecting a lot of heavy rain that's going to aggravate the already uh, high water basins out there, the high streams and rivers that we're seeing. So I'm not too concerned about that. Maybe some heavier rain later in the week, but at this point, nothing that's organized that's going to bring in several inches of rain unless you get stuck under a thunderstorm or something like that. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. I apologize for the flash in the background. My TV needs to be thrown in the trash, to be honest. It's an old TV, and it's really struggling today. So. Anyway, there you go. That's the look at the week ahead of us here. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you have a great Monday, and God bless.